All right, so week 15 of the NFL season is coming to a close. And for the Chicago Bears, they take another tough loss on Monday night to the Minnesota Vikings. Just like always, I'm going to give you all my recap, my thoughts on the game they played on Monday night. So without further ado, let's get into it. So guys, KT here, back at it with another video, back at it with another recap video. Chicago Bears take another a very, a very tough loss to the Minnesota Vikings in the game that was easily winnable. I'm not going to hold y'all for uh, too long. Let's get into it. Justin Fields, let's start with him. 26 of 39, 285 yards, 11 yards per throw, one touchdown, three sacks, had a QB rating of 96.6. Quickly, first three quarters for Justin Fields, not good at all. He really looked like a rookie, a raw rookie for those first three quarters. Bad turnovers for ball security, a couple port uh, placement on his passes. Uh, his ball security is really the most concerning thing for his development. However, that's something that can be fixed. And for the fourth quarter, that's when he really started to come up and uh, get some stuff done. That fourth quarter, he put a, together a string uh, of completed passes. I think it was 10 straight completed passes. But uh, it just didn't amount to much offense. The one touchdown he had was to Jesper Horstead at the end of the game. So it was okay, it was okay for Justin. Not his best game, especially for those first three quarters. Uh, he couldn't really impact the game like he wanted to. David Montgomery, as far as rushing, uh, David Montgomery had 18 carries. Again, not too happy about that. He deserves way more carries than that. And he he deserves way more carries than that. And just 18 carries, I felt like he was gashing Minnesota all game. But they didn't give him as many carries as, as I would like. He only had 60 yards. He only averaged 3.3 yards per game, uh, per, per carry, excuse me. Uh, but just not enough carries for David Montgomery. Uh, in a game where the Minnesota defense, where I felt like they didn't play as good as they as they should have. Uh, Justin Fields, he also had a couple good rush attempts, uh, showed his pocket presence, late, especially late into that fourth quarter, able to avoid pressure, able to avoid sacks. But uh, overall, Rushing the ball, not too much to talk about. Receiving, uh, Cole Komet, nine targets, six receptions, 71 yards. Those came late in the fourth quarter. Uh, Bears receivers, they need to get some more receivers on offense. Too many times, you could have a guy, Fields can have a guy wide open. It can hit him in the hands, and he drops it. Look, you're an NFL caliber receiver. You get two hands on the ball, you're supposed to catch it. There was one play in the fourth quarter where they really needed to score in the red zone. And Demir Bird, who also had six targets, five receptions, 62 yards, he dropped a crucial fourth down pass in the red zone, mind you, in the red zone. And that basically sealed the game for the Bears if it wasn't sealed already. But uh, overall for the offense, uh, it just wasn't a good, it wasn't a good day. Two sloppy penalties. Uh, not converting in the red zone. They had about five red zone trips, which they did not convert on. Uh, and you only end up with three points for mostly the entire game. Unacceptable. Uh, honorable mention, real quickly, Tevin Jenkins. There was one play. Justin Fields was running out of bounds. And he gets cheap shotted by a Minnesota uh, defensive lineman. I like the way Tevin Jenkins plays. I watched him at uh, Oklahoma State. I watched him in, uh, in college against all these other good teams, especially that game against Texas. He plays with a fire that the Bears need. He wants to uphold the standard of protecting your quarterback. You know, he was probably, next to Cody Whitehair, he was probably the only guy that went up and stood, stood up to the Minnesota Viking defenders and stood up for his quarterback. Uh, Ermain Effetti, he came up and scolded the young player but really that's what you need i tweeted it out live during the game you need some guys like that to uphold the culture to bring that type of aggression and that standard to the team that's what they desperately need at this point i like it keep doing what you're doing young man you have a bright future in this league overall offense did not play well i give them what a d minus really really wasn't much to talk about as far as offense they didn't score enough points to me uh, nine points at the end of the day is not going to get it done. And they, this is a game they definitely could have scored more points. 
So uh, yeah, D minus for the uh, the offense. Real quickly, footnote before I get to defense. NFL officiating. It needs to change fast. I don't know where they find these refs. I don't know if they don't know the rule book. There was multiple plays where the Bears got penalties for egregious stuff. Uh, mainly the mind-numbing penalty call on a chop block. A chop block on Tez Tabor, a backup safety, mind you, who played really well in this game. He goes in to make a tackle on Dalvin Cook. He kind of cuts under the lineman a little bit. It's outside the, uh, the tackle box. It's outside the tight end box, whatever. And you know what? They call it a chop block. But how are you blocking someone when you're trying to tackle somebody? That doesn't make sense. It doesn't. And with Dalvin Cook on the other side on that Minnesota Vikings offense, you got to get him to the ground any way possible. You got to get him on the ground because he's an open field. He's making guys miss. He could take a big one to the house. So I didn't like that call. NFL officiating, just it just needs some, some rework to it. Uh, I feel like the officials need to start getting fined for certain calls that make no sense. Uh, the, the, again, the penalty call on Tevin Jenkins when he stood up for his uh, quarterback was egregious as well because Duke punched him. The Vikings defender punched him and he got an unnecessary roughness call. So something needs to change with officiating. Defense, they play well. Uh, footnote, Robert Quinn is only, what, a sack away? Two sacks away, two and a half sacks away from uh, Richard Dent's all-time franchise record in sacks. Uh, overall, he played well. Roquan Smith, again, is a monster. He got snubbed again. For the Pro Bowl, he got snubbed again. He's an all-pro, though. Best, one of the best linebackers in the league. Ten total tackles, three solo tackles. You know what? That is a star linebacker right there. Pay the man. Pay the man. Robert Quinn, good game for him too. He had a couple clutch sets. And overall, the defense just played well. Hakeem Hicks, he came out with some fire today. He just looked like he was fully healthy. Uh, that secondary, Thomas Graham Jr., one of the rookies I talked about in a video a couple months ago. I don't know why he wasn't on the team early. This dude can flat out play. He had what? Three pass breakups, seven total tackles, two solo tackles. And overall, in a game where I thought Justin Jefferson was going to have at least 100, you know, over 100 yards, they actually did a pretty good job. He actually did a pretty good job on Justin Jefferson. That one touchdown pass, can't really blame him for that. But overall, this makeshift, this makeshift secondary played pretty well. So defense, they get, I say a B. B plus, that's fair. Uh, 17 points, obviously, the touchdown to Justin Jefferson. Deion Bush over committing. You can kind of take that or leave it. I'm kind of going to have to dock you on points for that one and some of the unnecessary roughness penalties. Travis Gibson, you know what I'm talking about. That's why I have to dock them down to a B plus. Special teams, let's just give them an A. Cairo Santos was the only source of Bears points. Uh, notable, notable injury, Jakeem Grant got hurt. We didn't see him for the rest of the game. I think he is, it has a concussion. Play calling, coaching, gonna keep it light. Still, like really, nothing's really changed. Really nothing has changed. Uh, these guys still need to be removed. They still need to do a full cleaning. And uh, yeah, they didn't, uh, I think Sean Desai did well today. So for that reason, I think I'm gonna give the play calling and coaching a C plus. Just because Sean Desai, he did wonderful on defense. So there's that. Um, that's basically all I have for today. The Bears take another loss. They are officially eliminated from playoff contention. So, uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I drop a new video. Uh, subscribe to the channel. It helps me make more content. Uh, like the video. Share the video with your friends and family. Follow me on social media. And I'm out. Peace.